build up the Georgia game? I guess how you got injured and how you're able to get back. Uh, just preparing, uh, just my mindset when I went into treatment. Uh, just knowing that football and this team, they need me and I need them. So just trying to get back as quick as possible to uh, play football. What was the injury? Uh, just lower leg injury. Did it happen during the first uh, preseason scrimmage? Yes, sir. Just playing football, getting banged up, play, making the play on the ball. What's it like playing? I guess wearing the knee brace. Are you still wearing it? Is, is it kind of hard to move, or is it? Uh, nah, it's kind of weird just from going and playing without one to playing with one. So I said just getting used to it and just kind of just going out there, just still playing my game, not letting it affect me. So it ain't a bad burden on me. I think you received some uh, nickel snaps against uh, App State, I guess. How did you kind of work your way into getting those getting those snaps? Uh, just trying to fit my best way in to play for this team. Wherever they need me at, I feel like I'm willing to play that position. So they needed me at nickel. I was willing to go in and play nickel and just kind of get my snap rates up. So if they need me at corner nickel safety, I'm willing to play them all. So they kind of needed me at that spot, and I went in and kind of fulfilled that, that spot on the team defense. Uh, sorry, how did it feel uh, playing in that position? Oh, it felt good, just the preparation, just leading up to me playing in that game. I just say the way we practice just kind of helped me go out there and play confident wherever I'm playing on the field in my mindset. Is there ways that you feel like you fit that nickel position? Come in. Are there, there are ways that you feel like your skill set fits the nickel position? Oh, most definitely. I feel like I can run with anybody. So just me standing in that position, uh, just me being able to be versatile, and playing corner, being physical, I just think, Playing in that position, I kind of can bring a lot to the table, so I just feel like I can showcase that more at that position. I guess what's the difference between the nickel and the outside corner position? Like what kind of, I guess there's a different technique, different footwork. What do you kind of need to switch between each position? Uh, kind of with our corner spot, you kind of press it all the time. Nickel, you kind of playing a little off man, a lot more zone, a lot more just having better eyes. So I just say just being versatile, blitzing, just a lot more things in that nature. Obviously, last year you guys lost at NC State. I mean, is there any extra fuel or kind of a different mindset because it's them in the first game? Uh, I think every game for us is we have the mindset we want to go out there and win. So I say our mindset would change. We want to attack this game like we take every else game and just try to go out there and be the best version of ourselves playing this good team. You guys Concepcion um, is one of the better playmakers. And guess what's – what are you guys talking about in terms of what's important to defend him? I just go out there and play Clemson football. That's all we got to do. Just don't try to do too much. Stay within our game plan. That transition from corner to nickel, has that been an easy transition for you? Uh, Yes, sir. I say I have. Uh, like I said, preparation, just making sure I know the things to do and just being a football player overall. So it was kind of easy for me. Kind of leaned on uh, Khalil Barnes for any advice during that process, or it was kind of just film study preparation for it, just for you. I kind of leaned on everybody. You know, he my roommate, so he played that position. So just taking advice from him and kind of using it in my game and both of us being out at the same time, communicating. So I say just watch an extra film with him and all the other safeties and corners and just making sure we're on the same page, learning what the linebackers have so it make my job easier. So watching film, man, getting information from him and my teammates. I think you your guy who trash talks, but I think we also heard from, like, Avion's also kind of similar in terms of his aggressiveness. I mean, how would you describe Avion in terms of his demeanor on the field? Uh, just going out there and just want to uh, snap his name. He just want to make his name for himself. Just going out there playing complimentary football, just bringing that juice and swag to the DB room. So I just say just, just natural uh, Atlanta football for you right there on the football field, just going out there making plays. Like how physical of a tackler he is too. Just obviously not the biggest guy in the world. Almost but. definitely. I think tackling is not something you can teach. You got to have a heart to go out there and tackle. I think that's with anybody. So just seeing him do that, that's just practice made perfect. Just going out there, everybody running to the ball. Just habits that show up in the game from practice. Anybody virtually for Shelton? Anybody else in the room? 
I think he had a missed interception against App State. Uh, I think it like went off your hands like in the first right. quarter. I guess what happened during that play and how 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 but were you? I guess how frustrated were you that you didn't come up with that int? Uh, I was most definitely frustrated. Our coach teach uh, game one play one so just for that to happen on the first open snap of defense I was kind of you know mad at myself but just thinking next play next play so I just kind of got a shake back from that and just leave that where it was and just continue on to play throughout this season and try to get what I left out there on the field. What have you seen from um, some of the younger corners like Ashton Hampton and Corey and Gibson so far throughout camp and throughout the season as well? Uh, I think when they just keep working and trust the process and trust the work that they put in in practice and it's going to relate over to the game, like Coach uh, Coach Luke was preaching to us in practice, practice don't make perfect and make permanent. So whatever you do in practice is going to show up in the game. So just with them doing what they do in practice, I just think when they tr if they trust that, when they get to the game, it would be easy. You briefly mentioned blitzing and with the possibility of going up against an inexperienced quarterback that might be uh, the case. How do you battle a guy like that? Uh, I just say just plan, going out there, fundamentally sound, just not uh, running upfield, just making sure that we stay within our, like I said, within our defense and just making sure we execute the right way. So Clips to celebrate Paw Journey Week this week. I know you're part of LA Business Week. Kind of what is that program and what did that week in particular, what does that really mean to you and your development personally and professionally? Uh, it just kind of opened my eyes to show me that I'm more than just a football player. Uh, just me meeting new people, make connections. It just kind of opened my eyes with the business world and just seeing like what the real world is out there. I just think that Paul Journey is something that I'm very grateful for. Uh, just kind of overall as a man, just teaching me with finances and things of that nature. So I just think the people who uh, do it you well and all the people who come in with it, it just I just say they, it's just a, a experience that I wouldn't trade for none at this school, so I'm very appreciative of it. What were some of the businesses or memories or opportunities from LA Business Week in particular that really stick out to you? Uh, I went to Uninterrupted, got to meet, uh, meet with a few of them guys, went to real estate companies, uh, we did Spectrum, so it's different things like that. Also did an internship with Google, so just different things of that nature. Anybody else for Sheldon? All right, Sheldon. Thank you, man. Appreciate y'all. <laughs>